Parts of southeast Texas are already feeling the effects of Tropical Storm Alberto. It's still in the Gulf tonight, but storm surge is also taking over some areas. You can see flooded streets in several cities tonight. This is a look at the pier in Galveston, Texas, just hours ago, courtesy of EarthCam. As Alberto approaches the coast, it became the first named storm of the season overnight. 10 Tampa Bay is your hurricane headquarters. Meteorologist Natalie Ferrari joins us now. And Natalie, the storm is expected to make landfall along the coast of Mexico tomorrow morning. Yeah, that's right. And while the actual center of the storm, the core of it is still still just down towards the immediate coast of Mexico. Look how broad those outer bands have been again impacting some spots as far north as East Texas that have been dealing with those flooding concerns, coastal flood concerns, gusty winds, surge, and of course some of that heavy rainfall bands of it at that with moisture just lapping up along the Texas Gulf Coast and the northeastern coast of Mexico tonight. Now the latest update just in from the National Hurricane Center as of 11 o'clock tonight, we do have a strengthening tropical storm now with maximum sustained wind speeds at 50 miles per hour. It is continuing to drift up to the west tonight again, moving further and further towards land closer to the coast there. But look at those heavy rain bands just continuing to move onshore along the Texas Gulf Coast tonight. So Alberta will make landfall early tomorrow morning and then just basically get shredded apart along the mountains in Mexico. And then we have other disturbances that we're going to be watching very, very closely. Separate of Alberto, the National Hurricane Center thinks something else will form in the western Gulf Coast. So we'll talk about that in a few minutes, as well as some moisture trying to brew in the Atlantic. I'll have those details coming up in my full forecast. All right.